Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me in this Summer Food Service Program informational webinar. My name is Tomeskin Malashu, and I serve as the Out-of-School Time Meals Coordinator at the City of Seattle. In this brief webinar, I'll be highlighting the Summer Food Service Program, or SFSP, its participants, site requirements, and the support we offer throughout Seattle. If you're considering becoming a site, please watch this webinar to the end, and I look forward to welcoming you this summer. So the first question you might have is, what is a Summer Food Service Program, or SFSP? So it's a federal program funded by the United States Department of Agriculture, or USDA, aimed at providing nutritious meals to children and teenagers when school is not in session. In Washington State, it is administered by the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction, or OSPI, and here in the city of Seattle, we sponsor individual sites. We've been a sponsor of the program since 1977, collaborating closely with OSPI to process site applications, obtain approvals, and handle all the necessary behind the scenes work to ensure our sites are prepared to serve meals to the community. Why do summer meals matter? Well, we all recognize that nutrition plays a crucial role in youth development. During the summer when children aren't receiving meals at school every day, the Summer Food Service Program is a vital nutritional bridge for youth during the summer months. So simply stated, the goal of the program is to connect youth with healthy meals and meaningful well-run summer activities. The program is also crucial for addressing racial disparities and food insecurity. And as you can see here, um, there is a pretty staggering gap in food security rates between white households and BIPOC um, households. In SFSP, we partner closely with organizations that have strong relationships with BIPOC communities. And so we hope that through SFSP, we are able to provide meals to communities most in need and address the racial disparity in food insecurity here in Seattle. During the 2018-2019 school year, an average of about 327,000 school lunches were served each day. During an average day of, in July of 2019, um, during the summer food program, about 35,000 lunches were served. This resulted in Washington State ranking 35th in bridging the gap. And while these statistics are a few years old, they do highlight the ongoing challenge of reaching our youth during the summer months, showing that there is still work to be done in bridging the gap. So who participates in SFSP? So sites can be found in a variety of settings, um, including schools, parks, community centers, libraries, apartment complexes, and faith-based organizations, and of course, various other community-based organizations. One of OSPI's core requirements is that sites are located in eligible areas, meaning the schools nearest to your site have a 50% or higher free and reduced lunch rate. So this ensures that we serve communities with the highest rates of food insecurity. There are two types of sites, open and closed. Open sites are accessible to the public and anyone ages 1 through 18 can receive a meal, whereas closed sites, on the other hand, cater to a specific group of youth. You might opt to be a closed site if you run a closed enrolled program or if your site doesn't meet area eligibility criteria. In such cases, you can operate as a closed site by using various verification forms from the parents or guardians of the youth attending your program. If 50% or more of the youth in attendance receive free or reduced price lunch, you qualify to operate under SFSP. Continuing, all youth ages 1 through 18 are eligible to participate. Meals are served to um, to these youth regardless of race, national origin, disability, gender identity, sexual orientation, religion, and citizenship or immigration status. Op open sites do not collect any personal identifying information, so it's important to emphasize that receiving summer meals does not factor into public charge determination. We strive to make these meals as accessible as possible. Therefore, if you're between the ages of 1 through 18, you can receive a meal at any open site that you visit. So what's in a summer meal? Uh, let's take a look at our sample menu. So for breakfast, we offer a variety of options, such as bagels with cream cheese or sun butter, muffins, cereals, and all accompanied by seasonal fruit and milk. 
For lunch, we serve a diverse selection of meals, including Greek pasta salad, turkey sub supreme, chicken banh mi, and a summer berry salad, ensuring there's always a regular and a vegetarian option available each day. It's important to note that this menu is uh, peanut and pork free. Additionally, we do provide snacks over the summer, and so if you do decide to become a site, you can choose two of the three meal options to serve. What does it mean to be a summer meal site? Some site responsibilities are to provide a safe location for your, the youth to, um, and families to receive meals, submit weekly meal orders, complete weekly paperwork, communicate with your monitor and coordinator regularly. And what does the site provide? There are a few things that our sites need to provide, including refrigeration. Our breakfasts and lunches are perishable and need to be refrigerated between meal times. We also require secured storage. And while our snacks are not perishable and do not need to be refrigerated, we ask that they are stored somewhere safely to prevent tampering or damage. Additionally, sites will need to provide staffing and conduct outreach to their surrounding communities to ensure that everyone knows they are offering free meals to youth. How does the city support the meal sites? As mentioned earlier, we work closely with OSPI to get your application approved. Additionally, we work closely with our meal vendor to prepare the summer menu, meal prep, and ensure timely deliveries to, your, to each of your sites. Each site will also be assigned a monitor who will oversee compliance with OSPI regulations and provide assistance in resolving any issues or questions you may have throughout the summer. We offer pre-summer training and ongoing technical assistance to help you manage day-to-day -day program logistics, as well as assist with record keeping and completing all necessary program forms. Your participation in the SFSP allows us to continue providing healthy meals for youth throughout the summer, which in turn allows youth to continue their physical and social development. It helps youth return to school ready to learn. And so we always encourage any organization in the community to apply to be a part of the special program. And if you are interested in applying to be a meal site or would like to chat more, please feel free to reach out to me via email or phone call. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. So please please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much for watching this webinar and I hope you have a great day.